Hello guys, welcome to BAMS with me. Today let's discuss about the important drug that is ashwagandha. It is scientifically known as Vitania somnifera, coming to its vernacular names. In English, it is known as winter cherry. In Hindi, it is known as asgandha or asgandha. In Kannada, it is known as ashwagandhi. And in Marathi, it is known as asandha or doragunja. Coming to Pariyayanama or synonyms of the drug. Hayagandha, Turangagandha or Vajigandha. Ashwa, Haya, Vaji means horse and Gandha means smell. This plant smells quite like horse dung. Hence, it is known as Hayagandha, Turangagandha or Vajigandha. Second synonym is Turagi or Vajikari. Vaji means horse. This herb is used to improve sexual performance like that of horse. Hence, it is known as Turagi or Vajikari. Third synonym is Varaha Karni. Varaha means pig and Karna means ear. Its leaf looks similar to the ear of pig. Hence, it is known as Varaha Karni. Fourth synonym is Balya. It improves strength of the person. Hence, it is known as Balya. Fifth synonym is Kushtagandhi or Peevari. It grows mainly in forest areas. Hence, it is known as Kushtagandhi or Peevari. Coming to botanical name of the drug, it is Vitania somnifera and it belongs to the family Solanaceae. Ganavargi Karana or the classification of the drug. According to Acharya Charaka, it is divided into three groups. First group is Balya. It is a group of herbs to improve strength and immunity of the person. Second one is Brahmaniya. It is a group of herbs to improve body mass or for the nourishment. Third group is Madhuraskanda. Sweet tasting group of herbs. Hence, it is known as Madhuraskanda. Acharya Shishruta did not mention any Gana to Ashwagandha. Hence, there is no classification of any Gana according to Acharya Shishruta. Coming to external morphology of the drug. Habitat. Plant is found in drier regions of India, especially in central India like Mysore, Andhra Pradesh, Gujarat, Rajasthan, Tamil Nadu, Uttar Pradesh and West Bengal. Tree. It is a small or a medium undershrub. Its height is about 30 to 150 centimeter. It is erect, grayish in color and it is a perennial tree with a strong, disagreeable odor like that of horse urine. Stem. The stem of Vitania are brownish dark color and it is erect. Leaves. The leaves of Ashwagandha are arranged in an alternate manner. It is simple. It possesses margins that are slightly waved. And normally it is broadly ovate or oblong. It, it is about 29 to 80 millimeters long and 21 to 50 millimeters broad. Coming to the flower of Ashwagandha. Flowers are generally small and it is greenish in color. It is axillary. It is a bisexual or monoecious flower. In flea flower, it has enzymes. Seeds, they are many in number. It is discoid, reniform and yellowish in color. Fruit, fruit of ashwagandha is usually a round, hairless berry type. And it is 5 to 8 mm across. It is orange-red to red in dipped condition and it is enveloped by a la enlarged calyx. Coming to chemical composition of the drug, they are vitanin, pseudovitanin, somine, somniferin, vitaferin, nicotin, and pseudotrophin, etc. Gunakarma vitnano or pharmacodynamics of the drug. Rasa, it contains madura, kushaya, and tiktarasa, that is sweet, astringent, and bitter taste. Guna, it has lagu and snigdha guna. Virya, it has Ushna and the Vipaka is Madhura Vipaka. Therefore, the Dosha Karma of the drug is Kapha and Vata Shamaka. That is, it elevates Kapha Dosha and Vata Dosha. 
Coming to the action and properties of the drug. Action or the karma. It acts as balya that is strengthening. Brahmana, it is nourishing. Rasayana, it improves life expectancy and also it is anti-aging. Vajikarana, it improves sexual performance of the person. Vrishya, it is aphrodisiac in nature. It is kasahanti, that is it is useful in cough and cold etc. Anilamhanti, it is useful in vata disorders. Shofahara, it brings down inflammation. Kanduhara, it relieves itching. Vishahara, it is antitoxic in nature. Krimihara, it is useful in worm infestation. Shvasahara, it is useful in asthma conditions. Shatahara, it is useful in injury healing. Shayahara, it is also useful in treating emaciation. Coming to the rogas, it cures abhyantara and bahya rogas, that is internal and external diseases. It cures abhyantara rogas like shaya, that is emaciation, shota, inflammation condition, anidra, insomnia condition, nidranasha, that is loss of sleep, vata vyadis, diseases of vata, urastamba, stiffness. Hridadorbalya, that is weakness of the heart. Udaravikara, that is diseases affecting the abdomen. Vistamba, obstruction of the stool. Shvasa, respiratory diseases. Kasa, cough. Granthi, goiter, mocha, fainting. Brahma, giddiness. Visha, poison, etc. And it cures bahya rogas like karsha, that is emaciation. Vata vyadis, that is diseases of vata rogas. Coming to the varieties of the ashwagandha. There are two kinds of ashwagandha plant, that is wild plant and a cultivated plant. The cultivated plant product is marketed and used commonly in the internal use. Come or the therapeutic use of the drug. First, Vyandhyatva. In Vyandhyatva condition, we take Ashwagandha Gritha after Ritusnana. In Shaya, we take Ashwagandha, Pipali and Sharkara with Gritha and Madhu. In Shvasa problems, we take Ashwagandha Shara with Gritha and Madhu. In Krisha condition, we take Ashwagandha Powder with Gritha, Tela or Lukewarm Water. Parts used for Amaika Prayoga are roots and shara, dosage or matra to be given. In powder form it is about 3 to 6 grams and in shara it is about 1 to 3 grams. Formulations or yoga of the drug they are Ashwagandha Arishta, Ashwagandha Avaleha, Manismrit Vataka and Bala Ashwagandha Tela. Thank you.